Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny. I am the tie guy. This is my YouTube channel, and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie not known to man, and I'm bringing that to you. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. All right, this time I've got one from Boris Molka. He invented this one called the loop knot, and I'm going to show you how to do this cool-looking loop knot right now. All right, so getting started, put your necktie over your neck. We're going to be tying it with the little end. It is the long end. The big end is just past my belly button, just above my belt line, so when it's done, it should land exactly where my belt line is. Alright, um, just a little warning before we get started, this knot just seemed to, um, it, it needs to finish at a certain point with a little end inside the knot, so it's kind of hard to uh, find the right necktie to get it done. I'm doing it with a skinny tie, and it's quite thin material. Um, and it seems to work out the best for me. So this is what I'm using for my demonstration. All right, here we go. We got the little end, or the little end, the big end, sorry, bring it to the middle, do your pinch. Take the little end, cross over the front, and we're gonna feed this up through our neck hole and back across. There's gonna be a lot of repetitive motions here. So that at the beginning, I like to keep this t nice and tight. Taking the little end now, we can wrap it around the back across the back and feed it up through the front of our necktie hole or neck hole and across and now we're going to cross the front so this starts to form our first triangle in sort of this um, looping idea all right and now taking the little end up through the neck hole and across so you want to sort of avoid covering up your little triangle that you're making here. Now taking the little end around the back, sort of, so I'm going a little bit wider out. I'm gonna bring this up through the front of our, my neck hole and back and across again. So it's gonna start creating this diamond shaped, this sort of like mirrored never ending diamond shaped. Okay, across the front again, and up through the back. And this is where you might have a, uh, you should be running out of material by this point and this still I started a little bit um, shorter so, but you want to feed this down like a trinity knot like basically to tuck in the very end in the front here but you gotta hide what's left of it so I'm just tightening this up so I have a finished knot I don't want it to be loose and then from here we can open this up so we have that illusion like such a, another like another knot that looks very similar to this and this little end we need to hide this somewhere so I usually just tuck it in the back up here so we could cinch this up to your neck I want to hide the left the remaining I found it, this is unusual that I would have this much remaining and I would just end up tucking it just under here and it would stop. So this is just a one way to fix that problem if you've got a little bit extra to spare. You just tuck it in behind the collar and once you've got your collar down you won't see that anymore. There we go. That's how you do the loop knot. That is how the loop knot is done. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Boris Mocha for inventing that. If you guys have any pictures on the interwebs, you can tag me on Instagram or you can share that directly on my Facebook page. I'd love to see that. And of course, stay tuned. I've got so many more necktie knot videos coming for you guys. So thank you so much for watching.